quite possibly have the best console in history right in your hands with a ton of must-play games you can't miss. But never fear because we're here to show them to you so you don't miss out on any. Grab yourself a pen and paper, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. Cause we're going through the top 25 best games for Nintendo Switch. Link's adventure on Koholin Island feels like a dream you don't want to wake up from. Link's Awakening is a classic Zelda game remade from scratch on the Nintendo Switch, making it seem like you're playing with a toy model. The game's not very long, but its development is brilliant, emotional, and will be forever etched in your memory. This time, Bowser hasn't tried to kidnap the princess. In Paper Mario the Origami King, Mario has to save Peach from King Ollie, who wants to turn the world into origami. Not only is it a very original concept, but the circular combat system will make each battle a puzzle with multiple solutions that'll make you feel like a genius. The massive Geralt of Rivia made it onto the Nintendo Switch with a decent portable version of The Witcher 3, finally letting us enjoy an amazing open-world RPG that made history. The Witcher 3 will keep you entertained for more than 50 hours with a fantasy story that hooks you from the get-go. The best-selling game of all time is also one of the best for unleashing your creativity and enjoying with friends. In Minecraft, you can live and build your own worlds for solo or co-op adventures. The Nintendo Switch version even has its own Super Mario theme for exploring the cubic mushroom kingdom. The creators of Bayonetta made a spectacular action and sci-fi game called Astral Chain on the Nintendo Switch, where twin protagonists join the police force of the Ark, humanity's last refuge after the arrival of chimeras from another dimension. Using the astral chain, you'll control the legions in combat to uncover the truth behind the invasion. No one expected it, but the multi-award winning Persona 5 made it onto the Nintendo Switch with its royal version, leaving one of the best RPGs in history on the console. In this game, Joker and the Phantom Thieves of Hearts must infiltrate the minds of wrongdoers to make them confess to their crimes. Persona 5 is great, and its prequel is too, Persona 4 Golden, and it's also on Nintendo Switch if you want to check it out. Valve's puzzle masterpiece came to the Nintendo Switch's Portal Companion Collection, including the two classic games for the series. This remastering for Switch is perfectly adapted to the console and will challenge you to solve puzzles using physics and a teleportation system by creating portals. The complete main Xenoblade Saga is available on Nintendo Switch, featuring excellent RPGs made by Nintendo and Monolith Soft. From Shulk's battle against machines to Noah and Mio's struggle for time in Xenoblade 3, these full adventures will captivate you if you like fantasy worlds and original deep combat systems. You can play any of the three games independently, although you will understand much more about their story if you go through the whole saga in order. Retro Studio took the Metroid Saga into three dimensions on the GameCube with outstanding results. The Switch has been lucky to have a revision of Metroid Prime that's absolutely fantastic. It looks stunning and puts you in the shoes of Samus Aran investigating planet Talon 4 and the mysterious substance Phazon. This first-person shooter also masterfully mixes adventure, action, and platforming. If your name is Luigi and you get gifted a dream vacation in a hotel, don't trust it. The Last Resort turned into a nightmare for Luigi in Luigi's Mansion 3, a co-op game that can also be played solo, where you have to investigate a building full of ghosts with small doses of action and puzzles. The game is super diverse, long-lasting, and especially enjoyable with friends. But in case you don't want something that's so engrossed in horror, Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury is a safer bet with classic 3D Super Mario platforms. All these games can cost quite a bit of money, so if you don't want to spend a dime, remember to check out our video on the best free Nintendo Switch games. Capcom outdid themselves with Monster Hunter Rise for Nintendo Switch. In this game, you play as a monster hunter arriving in Kamura to save the village from the rampage. Each game map is a giant area that gives you enormous freedom of movement thanks to the wire bug, making it easier and more accessible than ever to hunt monsters in Monster Hunter. Don't lose sight of the 
online multiplayer mode though with Sunbreak, the gigantic DLC you gotta play if you like the base game of Monster Hunter Rise. From the depths of the ocean to a city in the sky, Bioshock Collection presents you with a gritty and sci-fi shooter like few other, exploring two utopian cities in remote parts of the world using firearms and special powers. The game does have some small doses of horror, although that's not really its strong point, and this collection includes the full trilogy, all adapted for Nintendo Switch. Retro Studios makes another appearance on this list with a game very different from Metroid. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is a classic platformer where levels and gameplay are meticulously designed to offer a unique experience. Not only is it constantly varying and surprising the player, but it also uses the levels and worlds to tell its story. Plus, it features Funky, so that up to two players can enjoy the adventure together, either on easy or hard mode. Nintendo took all the time in the world for a new 2D Super Mario, and the result was Super Mario Bros. Wonder, a platformer that feels like it's straight out of a dream. Mario transforms into different objects to clear stages, gains new powers, and up to four people can join the fun. It's definitely more challenging than previous 2D Mario games, but it's made for all types of players. And if you're looking for even crazier challenges, remember Mario Maker 2 and its insane online levels. And here's another game from Super Mario's creator, Pikmin 4 reboots the series so anyone can enjoy its brilliant universe. In Pikmin, you take control of an astronaut who crashes on an unknown planet and must rescue Captain Olimar and a handful of other astronauts. It's a strategy game where you command a squadron of tiny creatures called Pikmin with the help of a little dog Ochi. Easy and accessible for all audiences as well as highly entertaining. But if you're out for a harder challenge, Pikmin 1, 2, and 3 are also available on Switch. By the way, did you notice that there are no indie games on this list? Well, that's because there's so many good ones that we had to make our own list. Be sure to check it out. The Infinite Mario Kart Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is one of the best Switch games, being the definitive version of Mario Kart 8 for Wii U. With 48 base tracks, double that if you buy the DLC, it becomes one of the largest arcade racing games in history, featuring more than 42 characters and dozens of combinations to create vehicles. Perfect to enjoy either solo or with friends, both online and offline. Now for the game that saved many, many people's minds during the months of lockdown, and that was Animal Crossing New Horizons. Much more than just a life simulator, in this Animal Crossing game, you arrive on a deserted island to start a new life. The game operates in real time, so if it's night where you live, it'll also be night in the game. Planting flowers, helping neighbors, or building your own mental refuge are some of the things this wonderful virtual world allows you to do. If you thought Nintendo had games with a deep story, you would gotta check out Fire Emblem Three Houses. This massive strategy experience puts us in the shoes of Byleth, a professor at Garrig Mack School, as he witnesses the three reigning factions in the country rise against each other over the years. Choices play a very vital role in this Fire Emblem, almost splitting the game into three different stories depending on the house we choose. If you're already fans of the Fire Emblem series, don't lose sight of Engage, which brings together many characters from the franchise in a somewhat bland story but with a lot of fan service and a highly refined battle system. In the absence of Final Fantasy, Square Enix brought Dragon Quest XI-S to Nintendo Switch as a version with exclusive content from a gigantic turn-based RPG. The unmistakable art of Akira Toriyama wraps you up in a story where the protagonist is destined to destroy the world. Or maybe not. It's a very traditional Japanese game with tons of side quests, dozens of charming characters, and outstanding quality. Super Mario Odyssey came to Nintendo Switch as a 3D platformer where, of course, you have to rescue Princess Peach and prevent her marriage to Bowser. The game's about interacting with small worlds to collect power moons, thereby increasing the power of the Odyssey ship. Truth be told, it's not our favorite 3D Super Mario, but its refined control system makes it a fun and entertaining experience. The ultimate battle of video game characters is called Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Nintendo's definitive fighting game featuring more than 80 unique and special characters battling it out in 2D combat to claim victory. In its story mode called World of Light, only Kirby survives the apocalypse and must rescue the rest of the video game characters until he defeats the evil being of light, Galim, one of the most fun multiplayer games to face off against your friends on Nintendo Switch. 
The Witch Queen brought her complete story to Nintendo Switch with Bayonetta 1, 2, and 3, especially the latter, which took action combat to a new dimension by mixing transformations and weapons, and scaling battles to gigantic dimensions in real time thanks to the power of the Switch. She's brazen, she's fun, and she's the queen of action. As much as we love a good fantasy adventure, everyday stories are the ones you can relate to the most and the ones that can touch your heart. It Takes Two fills you up from head to toe by telling you the story of Cody and May, a couple going through a rough patch who end up turned into dolls. Both will have to work together for the sake of their daughter Rose, leading them to experience an epic 3D platforming adventure that's both incredibly original and fun. A masterpiece that is constantly surprising you and never runs out of ways to make you smile. Oh, but a second player is essential to play it. Nintendo created an entire universe with Splatoon, and Switch has been the console that has made the most of it. In Splatoon games, you get into the skin of an anthropomorphic squid or octopus capable of painting surfaces with its ink using different weapons and then swimming across it at high speed. It has a story mode with platforming and shooting levels, but it's actually an incredible online competitive game as deep as it is original. It is not for everyone, but it's made with Nintendo's decades of experience, so we recommend at least giving it a try. Zelda, Breath of the Wild, and Tears of the Kingdom are not just games. They're experiences you must live if you've ever liked video games. Waking up as Link in a desolate world, you'll have to travel through the massive land of Hyrule to recover your memories and rescue Princess Zelda from the clutches of Ganon. It's advisable to play Breath of the Wild before Tears of the Kingdom, as the latter expands on the adventure, but they're designed so that you can play them in any order without getting overwhelmed. But if you're looking for a more traditional Zelda, Zelda experience, the origin of the series is also available on Nintendo Switch with Skyward Sword HD. Remember to check out the list with the best indie games and the best free games you can play on Nintendo Switch. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on our upcoming videos about Nintendo and its games. See you next time!